morning. I am in the back of a taxi going to trying to go to the Iraqi museum. I, the first taxi I got, he just dropped me in the middle of nowhere and miles away from the museum. So I'm in another taxi now, hopefully going to the museum. And I don't know if I'm gonna be allowed to vlog in there or not. I think photography is allowed, but I, I'm, I have a feeling I'm not gonna be allowed. But they might let me. I don't know, we'll see. I got in the Iraqi museum, but you're not allowed to video. 1000 to 8000 BCE. This guy's giving me a really hard time here for spying on me. See it's written, the human stone represents mother goddess, pieces of mud contain remnants of mat, dated to the 6th millennium BC. This is the mother goddess. And this is the mat. You can't even read the things here. You can't read it. <laughs> The mother goddess. Mother goddess? Okay, I told you. All oh, right, yeah. okay. And what are these ones? Uh, all of it, the mother goddess. Okay. It's not this so... This is uh, ox, uh, or more like this is for uh, power. The Iraqi people use for power. Ox and the uh, lion. Ox and the lion. Okay, it doesn't... Uh, they were found in Ur. Yes. 4,000 BC. Pots, cups, wow. Yeah, most uh, most uh, artifacts they, uh, they found it, uh, in North of Iraq. Yeah, yes. yeah. There's some pots that they've put back together, like the ones, uh, pieces of pots. A collection of pottery pots, jars. 4,000, 3,500 BC. like for a, to a toilet. <laughs> uh, it's a collection of pots and jars, different shapes and sizes. Some more pottery here. It's really hard to read the writing. 5,000, 4,000 BC, pottery. Can't even read the signs here, it's terrible. These are big pots, all glued back together. 5,000, 4,500 BC, found in Yaren, Tepe, Tepe, Nineveh, up in the north. A pottery jar depicting a standing woman. The head represents the mouth of the jar. Her hair is pending on the back, showing prominent feminine features. There's the woman jar. A large pottery pear-shaped jar depicting geometric motifs with a handle in its spout. 5,000-4,000 BC, found in Shurupak, southern Mesopotamia. Massive. Can you see that? Okay, I can read this. Different artifacts used in ritual daily life, dated to the 5th millennium BC found in Nineveh. 
clay seals as well as small pottery containers. There was thousands of these clay seals that were looted. Thousands of stuff was looted actually. A large pottery jar. Look at the size of that. There's a painted pottery jar containing a nose and eyes of a woman's face with geometric paintings of slanted and wavy lines thought to be used for daily life and rit ritual purposes. It's amazing how old everything is, I can't believe it. I'm just having a really hard time videoing stuff with that guy spying on me. Flint and wax, marble stone. Uh, sixth and fifth millennium BC. It's like jewelry we wear today. These are husking trays to remove husks. I'm being completely followed around here to make sure I don't video, it's really annoying. All these pottery jars and everything. Uh, it's so hard to... I think you can read it here. I'm going to the Sumerian Civilization Hall. See if that guy's coming to follow me. what this is. This, oh, this is a facade of the wall for the main entrance to the temple, decorated with cones of pottery and part of another wall decorated with colored mosaics found in Warka. skeleton found in this case beside him of a number of pots and jars, an ornament, a necklace, decorations, placed in clothes of the dead found in the royal cemetery at Ur. My spy has gone. I have a little bit more freedom now till he comes back. I hear him back again. A large pottery jar just got a with naked women carrying tambourines. Wow. Look at the eyes. 
They used to inlay the eyes. Getting away from my keeper. 600,000 it was going to cost me. If you want a video here, it costs 600,000. This is the Golden Harp from Aur. Oh, wow. That's the harp that they found in Aur. Lots of pots, ancient, ancient pots. I've lost my keeper for a minute. And there's jewelry, agate, lapis, lazul, early to 2600 BC. Oh, it's amazing to think that they made all this jewelry back then, isn't it? collection of boats made with from asphalt and pottery found in the Royal Cemetery at Ur. That's where I was. The boat symbolized the religious purpose to move from this world to the other. This is a boat made from silver, I guess. Here's the seals. Bronze rings for the horse carriages. Utensils and cups made from copper found in Ur. A spear's head with different shapes found in Ur, dated to the early dynastic period 2800 2600 BC. More stuff from Ur. Sumerian period, Babylonian period. Mm. Large red pottery ball in Diala. Are you going to read all this? Very difficult doing this, pretending to take pictures. Wow, look at this. A lion head from pottery in a large size. Third dynasty of Ur, 2112 to 2004 BC. Look at these six cylindrical seals. They're so detailed. These were found in Nippur. Look at that. we got here? Pottery cones in cuneiform writings mention the names of the temples and its builders found in Ur, Kish and Warka in southern Mesopotamia.
Here's the cuneiform. These two clay tablets have economic texts on them. Imagine having to decipher that. Figure that This is like the clay tablets I saw in uh, Uruk. Yeah, it doesn't give you much information on them, but they're just kind of like the ones I saw. I honestly don't know what this is. There's no explanation. My follower has disappeared for sitting down. He's bored, I think, with following me. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much footage I've got, and it's probably shit, but uh, I'm trying. I'm going downstairs now. Um, I've seen upstairs. I don't know what's downstairs, but the guy that's following me is right behind me. Look at the details in these. And then let's look and see how old if you can read this. in the form of an animal hedgehog made from pottery with two eggs of ostrich. 911, 612 BC. Wow. Look at the dog. Look at these sphinx. Part of a marble floor here. I'm hiding. So if I wanted to, if you want a video recording here, you have to pay six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand. Um, so it's a lot.
It's really difficult not being able to talk. Look at the size of this slab, man. Here it comes. Metal things.
to the Iraqi Museum, which is here. I was not allowed to video in there. He said it was, if I wanted to video, it was going to be 60,000, no, 600,000, which is absolutely ridiculous. 600,000, we have no idea. But uh, this is the Iraq Museum. And so my vlog is going to be silent because I couldn't talk because they had someone follow me the whole time to make sure I wasn't videoing. I was videoing. Uh, I don't know why, it's a money thing, I think. I guess it's a money thing. One of the women that worked, that was there knew, knew, recognized me and she came running up. She says, just video. She says, video when you can. Um, so I, I did as much as I can. But I did my best and I've been, that's it.